we're sailing towards an iceberg. This little white peak in the distance getting closer and closer, but really it's been underneath us the whole time. It's nothing worse than a kid. We have some bad news on the case. The print we lifted from the victim is from your son. There's got to be an explanation. They go to the same school Jacob's in his class. Yes, we know that. Lynn, have you arrested my son? Before we begin, I want to make something clear. A kid your age charged with first-degree murder <laughs> is tried as an adult. I swear I didn't do it. We believe you. You have admitted to being in the park, and a fellow student alleges you had a knife you would bring to school. I guess so. They're saying he looks smug and remorseless. This is gonna follow him around for the rest of his life. It's a mistake. We're gonna figure it out. Do you have any doubts about Jacob's innocence? No, of course not. Where is the knife now? So you've been lying to me. I did what any parent would have done. Can't leave his fate up to the courtroom. My only job now is trying to protect our son. We're prisoners in our own home. Acting like we're normal. We are normal. Oh my God, do you think this is normal? We gotta get answers for ourselves. I know what you did! Lawyers have boundaries. I don't, not anymore. Remember that in their eyes, it isn't just Jacob who's guilty. You all are. Did you follow me here? This is damaging. This is evidence. You're scaring him. Good, he should be scared. I'm scared. So I have to know. I want the truth. You can be a good man, or you can be a good father. There was no normal to go back to. It was just before and after. Mrs. Elliott, I'm Detective Barnes. I'm investigating your husband's murder. And I got some deputies out searching the area, but until we can get this figured out. I ordered a police detail for your house. How are you feeling, Anthony? Not everyone cares that dad's dead. <laughs> Real mature. Shut up! Gentlemen. Is everything OK here? Anthony, you know Megan? Hi. Dylan, why are you being so nice to me? I figured you might need a friend. Why's that? I heard some kids talking about your dad. Yeah, he, uh, I heard he got killed. And my dad died too. Suicide. I was wondering if we could have some people over tonight. Of course. Mom, this is Dylan. Oh my God, uh, Dylan. Sorry. Um, I wasn't expecting anyone. Don't worry about it. I mean, you have nothing to be sorry about. What was Mark like? Mark meant well, but it didn't matter what I had to say. You know, you don't always feel the way you're supposed to. Someone dies. Do you know what I do when I feel sad? sad? Something I'm not supposed to. I got death threats. Whoever hacked into your husband's email before his death must have had access to your account. Did you ever confess your affair to your husband? And my mom had an affair with some real estate mogul a few years ago. Your real estate boyfriend, you, you thought I wouldn't notice. What? You're not upset dad's dead? That's not true. I don't know what kind of game you're trying to play, but what are you doing? Dylan's lying about who he is. Hey, Anthony. Anthony? That's Anthony. Yeah. Dylan. I have him. Why? This is the knife that my dad used to slit his wrist. If you hadn't seduced my dad, Anthony's dad would be alive and well. I killed him, and now his blood is on your hands. Mom! Anthony! She's responsible for my father's death. The only person responsible is your dad. No, Mom! You gotta lose this guy. Who is it? 
Doesn't matter, he'll kill both of us. Promise me something. Yeah, don't follow me. If I just had some cash, I'd get some treatment. Maybe see my son be more. Think you can help me somehow? I do, but I can't do it alone. I make possible man's innate desire to be challenged in a highly intense sport, hunting. You'd want them to hunt me? Like paintball? Like tag or something? The sport in its purest form. A hunt to kill. It's a 24-hour game. Deposits increase. Every hour you survive for a grand total of $24.5 million. Just you on your own. Trust no one. Stay paranoid. When does it start? It just did. Strap it on tonight. Could be a long one. I am here, Bruce. How long has it been? I cannot do it anymore. You're down there every night. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> I told you you'd be the first person I'd call when I was ready. If you're messing with me, I will take my drumstick, shove it through your eye, and into your brain. And Tyler says you think about it every day. Of course I think about it every day. No one's thought about us since 1995. We're really gonna let a bunch of dweebs from Brooklyn with skinny jeans and cute little beards have all the glory? It's time for rock and roll made by men. Middle-aged men. You working with those jokers down there? Sure am. Jerry Evans is a promoter for Governor's Ball. Go play a show in Bushwick on a Monday night for four people. We'll start from there. You're playing the wrong song. You're playing the wrong song. This is going to be an uphill battle. Is that like a refresher course we can take on how to do this again? Tonight, for the first time in many, many years, we played one hell of a rock and roll show! Bruce! 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 You know what? If the road is where you want to be, maybe you should stay there. A singer and guitar player at odds? That's never happened before. We are walking out of Maxwell's on the bill of Governor's Ball. Everybody who's anybody has ever played there. And we might too. What is wrong with you men? Always thinking you need to leave a mark. This is your spot. Enjoy it. You need to lose. got balls. Brass ones. Monster sack. wife and my five-year-old son. Police sent me up. And now they're trying to kill me. What's your name? Lieutenant Stephen Boynton. You're in a bad spot. Came up here to try and help you with that. I was made in America. You do come out on your own. Our SWAT's bringing your ass out in a body bag. Look, that young man doesn't have to die. He wants to be hurt. I served my time for America. Only company here. Red team leader, you're clear to set charge. My wife, my son shouldn't have to dodge bullets. Just stay with me, Rayshawn. The whole world's watching. They try to bury me and my family. I can't do a
someone were to say to you why what happened all those years ago had to have happened to you, how would you respond? Because it was necessary. And do you have any regrets? I haven't done enough to please my mother. Which mother? Every time I read the name of one of our boys who lost his life, I have great admiration for them. They defend our progressive ideas that will free our country from religious superstitions. Ave Maria! Who are you? I come from heaven. Who are you talking to? What do you want from us? For the gift I can love, see her now. For the air we breathe. For the it is a sin to making lies up. It is true, Mama. She was as real as you are. Why would the mother of God choose you? What's so special about you? It could have been the devil. He often disguises himself. I've come for the seers. See what you've done? You deceived everyone. I have to go. I promised the lady I would go back. You were just a child. Like what harm can three little children possibly do? What is dangerous is what they represent. A huge crowd of people. We need to stop them. We came to see our children. No, I want my child is dead! going to end. All you need to say now is, I made everything up. I'm so sorry you couldn't see her. Faith begins at the edges of understanding. This is me, the lost and forgotten. Jane. Jane. Jane, anything you'd like to share before you fly home? No, I'm good. Welcome to Lifehouse, a home for the broken, the sad, and the suffering. I'm gonna miss you. Now you can come and visit me. I've always been good at lying. I heard the good news. That's a long time to be away from home. You must be excited. Yeah, thanks. But the pain will bury him. Hey, I'm Paul. It's never going away. It's when I get on that plane at night. This is me. I'll never arrive home. No one knows the path our lives will take. Jane? We can't stay here. We have to calm down. Just go. No one's coming to get us. I'm fine with that. No, no. We're here together. I need to know you're not going to tap out on me. Jay! I promise. So don't tap out on me. What do you think? Wow. Would you look at this place? Can't wait to get in the pool. I'm gonna go check out the bedrooms. Oh, uh, did you grab my computer out of the car?
Okay, Jules, you're scaring me. Get out of my mom's place. My husband's gone, and I lost her house. What do we call her? Aunt Jean. Thank you so much. Oh, you're always welcome here. Where's your dishwasher? You're looking at it, kiddo. No dishwasher, no clothes dryer, no microwave. TV? No TV. This won't be forever, just until I get us back on our feet. This is James O'Connor. He's going to teach your mama how to run the farm. What? All right, two minutes out in the barn. Where? That's, um, that's a big red structure out back. Yeah. Uh, these are chickens, and these are goats. Yeah, that's this Taylor, the one right there. There's Katy Perry. Do they all have names? Yeah, they all got names, but I just call them goat. I'm not sure I'm the farming type. I would agree with that. I am not cut out for this. We need to hire a real hand. She'll learn. Daddy, I know. I do, too. Sometimes I just feel like I'm drowning. This kind of pain and loss, it cracks you open. But we are made of magic and resilience, Libby. I am just as lost as the next guy, trust me. You work with the hot farmer? Him? He's the reason we come here. Mm -hmm. He's hot. Beautiful, huh? This is not you. What's me? Well, we can find out when you come home. I don't have a home! Where do I go? This is all I've got. You look great. You want to dance? You're late. No, I'm not. I just heard the rooster. <laughs> He's a rooster. Roosters can't tell time.